So this is just another video for discoverdigitalphotography.com um, showing you different ways that you can blur the background in an image to help draw more attention to the subject in your image. Um, this is a slightly more advanced blurring the background technique than the last one that I just showed in the other video. Um, again, we're going to use the same image that I used in the last one, which is this um, lovely portrait here by the Flickr user Ed Trenard. Um, so obviously I'll put a link to this down in the description if you want to follow on. And um, my thanks to them for licensing this image with a Creative Commons license that allows you to modify the image. Um, right, so we've got the image here. I'm going to start by duplicating the background. So I'm just going to click on the background and drag it down to the new layer icon. Or you can press Ctrl and J on the keyboard to do the same thing. Right, so now we've got the um, duplicate layer selected. What we need to do is select just the background of the image. So for this, I'm going to use the quick selection tool, but um, you can use whichever selection tool you like, really. This, this um, tool works quite well here. So I'm just clicking and dragging over the background to select it. And um, you can see up here, I've got the add to selection is selected. So that means I can just click again up here and it will add that um, area to my selection. There we go, so we've got all the background selected now. Now what I'm gonna do is press Control, Shift and I on the keyboard to invert the selection. And now we have just our subject selected on this layer. And I'm going to delete them by pressing the Del key on the keyboard. So now we've got our um, layer here with the subject is missing from it because they've been deleted. And the next thing to do is to hold down the Alt key and click on the Add Layer Mask and it's now added a layer mask where the area that where the subject is is masked out from this layer. Right, clicking on the layer thumbnail for this layer, which is here. Um, here we also need to unlink the layer um, and the layer mask. So we're just going to click that there. Um, the reason we need to do that is next we're going to apply a blur to the layer and if we don't unlink them then the blur will also be applied to the layer mask and we don't want that. So let's go up here, filter, blur, Gaussian blur and then you can control the radius down here. I'm just going to leave it at about 8. There we go. And as you can see, it's applied a nice blur to the background, while the outline of the subject is still nice and sharp, and they don't have any halo around them like they did in the more basic technique. And um, if I disable this... Oops. If I disable the layer mask, you can see that the blur from the background goes over the subject a bit. So that is the main reason for having that layer mask there. So that's the slightly more advanced technique, so I hope that helps.